Hello SEO Intelligence users. In this video, I wanted to go over the SEO IQ test and how it can help you, the average webmaster or advanced webmaster, diagnose on-page and off-page linking problems with your website. The SEO IQ test, as you can see on our homepage, is in the lower right-hand section. If you click the Take the Free SEO IQ Test link, you'll be taken immediately to the SEO IQ test form. Here, you'll see it's very simple. All you need to do is fill out your website's URL, your competitor's URLs, and a few keywords. Now we're only limiting seven keywords here. Now, I've started to put together a few keywords. We'll put in some I know I rank for. and we're ready to go. So it's that simple. Now I put in my name, I put in one of my friends and partner of SEO intelligence website, Kyle Bunch. I put in a couple other super affiliates I know and friends of SEO intelligence, Zach Johnson and Tyler Cruz. Now I'm going to take the test. Now what SEO intelligence is doing right now is it's going out and it's crawling about 50 different APIs for tons of data from your compete rank, your Technorati rank, scanning your website for your on-page metadata factors, do you have a title, do you have a description, how are your alt tags formed, etc. Now in addition to that, it's also going to go out and find out what your backlinks are, what your Google backlinks, Yahoo backlinks, MSN backlinks are, and how many pages you have indexed. All these factors are going to be compiled to give you an SEO IQ. Now this report or this result that you're going to see is really based on all the different points that the, the APIs come back with. And it is also relative to your competition set. So no, if you put irrelevant or you know non-contextually um, relevant competitors in there, i.e. a football site, and I don't have any content about football, it's not going to be able to score it properly. So try to use the best competitive set you can. Now here it is. The report is done. And you, as you can see, I have an SEO IQ of 198. Now, as you go through the report, you'll notice that each color corresponds with each website. So it makes it really easy to discern what the different um, rankings are for. Now, this first one is Google PageRank. Now, as you can see, I'm really not that high. I'm tied with Tyler Cruz. And Kyle and Zach Johnson have higher ones. Now you can also see the Alexa rank, the Technorati rank, Compete rank, Google links to each website. I'm really getting my butt kicked there. Yahoo links to a website, and MSN links. Now in addition, you can see your keyword targeting. Now in the keywords I put in, I don't really rank that well. That's why there's no data available. But you can see for some, like two got by do rank. For Jeremy Herman's, of course, I'm number one. And also for Jay Herman's, I'm, number, I'm ranking 13. Now my target audience performance, you can see here in Dig, I have 116 links. For Delicious, there's zero for all of us. So either that API is not returning data right now, Sometimes they're down, sometimes they're for maintenance, or all of us really don't have any delicious links. I don't have any uh, Wikipedia mentions. Kyle has three and Zach has 13. I have one Mahalo mention, 59 StumbleUpon mentions, and 254 Technorati mentions. 
Now down below you can see here, here's my metadata. I've got a title, a description, and I have meta keywords. It's also saying I have a high number of meta keywords. So I should probably bring these down. Probably delete a couple of them. It also looks at my H analysis, or my H1s, H2s, or my heading analysis. This is great to see how your HTML is being formed. In addition, it lets me know how my alt tags are. Now, I've got some extra icons in here. These are really kind of spacers, they're icons, and they don't have alt tags. But you can see for a lot of the number one, for a lot of the ones that we've uploaded, they actually do have alt text. Now, I believe you can see the readability. Now, I'm right here, I'm K13. So, you know, what that means is I'm basically a beginning college level student in, in grade level reading. I understand that. This takes into context the Gunning Fog and the Fleisch Kincaid um, algorithm. So, it, it, it's, an, it's a combination of both of them. Now, as you can see below, there's also domain information, when it was created, when it expires, and then a summary of the indexed inbound links, Yahoo, MSN, Google Pages, etc. And then below, there's a link to this, so you can permanently check out this report at any time. Now, as you can see, we compile all this data for free. Anyone can take an SEO IQ test. It enables you to know very quickly what your on-page and off-page linking problems or issues and or competitive weaknesses are. This is very important. It's very easy to use, and we highly, highly recommend anybody go out and check it out. Again, it's free. You have nothing to lose. If you have any questions about SEO intelligence, I highly encourage you to go to our product tour. Here we go over all the different parts of the tool and all the different features. You can also take one of our 14 day free trials. As you can see, we have packages for almost everybody from $9.99 a month to $99 a month. We have packages that will fit almost any webmaster or expert SEO. Thanks for your time.